gonna be the same concept with this. So you're driving at night and you got this bright Uconnect screen on, right? But there is a way to have this Uconnect screen automatically dim when you turn your headlights on at night. To the channel welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in on this video uh, if you are new here do me a huge favor make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel we do a lot of car related things on this channel you are in the right place for car related things so make sure you go ahead and lock it in and be a part of the family and subscribe to the channel if you already have done that thank you so much for doing that but as always we're not going to hold you too long let's go ahead and get a topic of today's video. You see the title and you see the thumbnail. So a lot of times, well, most of the time when we get these cars right here behind me, we get in these cars mainly for the looks. We get in these cars for the horsepower and the way that they drive and things of that nature to have fun with them. But outside of that, these cars have a lot more features in them, especially in the Uconnect that can make your driving experience um, better, that can keep you safer and make things even more convenient for you with these particular cars. So on today's video, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna dive into a couple of those features that you may not know about. So the first thing I wanna dive into with this car is gonna be a safety feature in my eye if you ask me. Now, if you're gonna be driving your car most of the time by yourself, you definitely should listen in and make sure you do this to your particular car, especially if you do drive a Dodge Charger. Now, we already know that these cars get stolen a good bit. Now, on top of these cars being stolen, a good bit thieves and robbers out here they're not gonna wait till you wait from your car to try to maybe attempt to steal or anything like that they may try it when you're around the car or when you walk up into your car or get into your car now of course this is not a gun channel or anything like that of course you should do that protect yourself on top of that here's something else you need to do with this particular car so here's the scenario you get off work or wherever you're going you get into your car you go to unlock your car however you lock it go here what just happened I locked the car right my driver doors are locked, of course, but guess what else happens? Every single door on this car is now unlocked. Every door is unlocked by me just doing that, right? And honestly, if you're by yourself, you don't need all these doors to unlock. So here's a feature that you can adjust. Now from the factory, it is automatically set to unlock all doors, but we can make a quick adjustment to keep us safe. All right, to make this adjustment here, you go into your settings, you will go all the way down to the point where it says doors and locks. Now there's an option here, one press to the key fob, unlocks driver door. What will happen here, instead of your car unlocking every door when you're by yourself, which could introduce a safety issue if someone decides to try to hop in your car when the doors are locked or hiding or stuff like that, the only door that will unlock is your driver door. And I'm gonna show you how that works now. So now that I make that adjustment, when I go to my car and go to unlock my door, I can come here, I can unlock my driver's door. My back door is still locked and I can hop around to the other door here. It is locked and this should still be locked as well. Well, of course it's unlocked because I had the key and I ended up unlocking it. All the doors will remain locked and you don't have to worry about someone, like I said, trying to sneak up and try to hop in your car when you unlock your car. So make sure you do that. Also, that change will also impact the way your key fob unlocks as well. So normally if you keep it for all doors unlocked, when you go to unlock it, it will unlock all the doors. But when you change it, you hit it once to unlock the driver door and hit it again to unlock all the doors, which is another reason why you need to adjust that setting. All right, for this next thing, it's gonna have to do with this little heads up display here. Now, um, this is not really a safety or a convenience thing or anything like that. I really do think this is more of just kind of a, a aesthetics thing. I think this looks better. And some people I, I see don't really know how to do this or have explored this option, but this is what I want to change here. So if you look over here, um, this is only for my automatic guys here. So I'm sorry, manual guys. I know I'm, I'm, I was once one of you guys, but this, this will not impact you guys at all. But if you look over here next to the speedometer, you see, I only have the current gear indicator there. So what I see a lot of people do here, if you go here, what a lot of people end up doing is this. If you go to this point and you go to gear display from factory, it looks like this. You have the park, the reverse, the, the neutral, 
drive and manual mode all there. Personally, I hate all that stuff sitting there. So if you just go into your headset display, go to screen setup, go to gear display, you can change that to single. And the only thing it will show you there is the current gear that you in. Now on top of that, what you can change as well is if you want to show the actual gear you're in, if you're in drive or in manual, you can go here and you can turn this on where I have it set here. And that way if you're in first gear, second gear, third gear, whether you're in drive or in manual mode, it will display that particular gear that you're in. Now along with this particular heads up display here, there's a lot of other things you can change as well. You can change exactly what you want to uh, show on this particular screen whether you want your speedometer to show up here or not you can change all of that typically what i have i have my range my mpg um and what and i usually just kind of display my whatever audio i'm playing down here personally but you can change all these things here if you want your odometer show you can gear we are went to the center stack you can go on that you can change what you want to show there if you don't want anything there you can change that as well so there's a lot of options and stuff you can go in this particular screen and change and move around I see a lot of people when they get these cars they don't move it around it usually stays on the factory setting but like I said you can kind of customize this to what is important for you to display all right so the next thing I want to show you guys this is something I didn't know until I start playing with this some people may know some people may not know about this particular setting so we're going to talk about this review camera that I started to mention um, when I first got the car how terrible it looked and whatnot it, I, I still think it looks terrible but I actually want to show you something that may help you out as far as parking is concerned so we are off mirror that when we go to back up our rear view camera comes on our low definition rear view camera comes on right so you're backing up you're turning blah 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 you, you do that you try to get it to the parking spot and as much as we want to be perfect drivers we may not get into the spot correctly the first time so what we have to do we have to put it into drive pull up and you know turn the wheel whatnot move and correct ourselves and things like that and then we go back into reverse and back up so you notice what happened here when i put it into reverse the camera comes on but as soon as i take the camera out the camera goes away now the issue that can cause is if you're not familiar with where you're backing into or can't see it really well outside your windows and things like that the fact that the camera uh turns off when you pull up kind of hurts you um as far as uh, you get into that parking space. Sometimes you need that camera on longer so that way you know that, okay, all right, um, I can get into this parking space correctly and I can see better now that my you know camera is on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So if you go down to your settings, you can hit down into camera. There's a setting here called Park View Backup Camera Delay. So you wanna just turn that on. Default, it is unchecked. So after you turn it on, this is what will happen. You were going to reverse as you normally would. Okay, well now we're in reverse, we're trying to back in. We messed up, okay, we messed up. I know some of us, we can't back up. I don't have that problem. Now look what we're seeing here. Now I can see my camera is still on and I can go and reverse it here again So because now I can tell where I need to be to back the car up, I should say. Now I know a lot of people may not know about that particular feature, but that is something that will help you get into the parking space right um i would maybe say not the first time but within two or three tries now the last thing that i have here is going to be more with safety and driving at night with the uconnect screen now if you have one of these cars you know that at night this thing is super bright in the factory or default setting and of course if you're driving at night having something bright in your face really will impair your vision outside the window if you don't believe me if you're ever in your house and you try to look out the window you can't see out the window unless you cut the lights off in the current room that you're in and then you can see better it's gonna be the same concept with this so you're driving at night and you got this bright uconnect screen on right but there is a way to have this uconnect screen automatically dim when you turn your headlights on at night so if you go into settings and if you go into display and you go into auto normally in these cars auto is automatically checked here so that should already be there for you, but it won't kick in unless you make another adjustment. So from there, if you go over to the side here, you have these particular knobs here. This knob will deal with your interior accent lighting, can make it brighter or darker. I make mine brighter at night, but over here is where you can adjust your Uconnect. So I have it adjusted to the point here. Now I'm gonna show you, when I turn my headlights on, you see how everything just went dark. So now when I'm driving at night, I don't have this bright Uconnect screen here all in my face. So how we do that? So right here in this knob, I'm gonna turn it up 
and you can see here i'm gonna show you see the u connect here you see how everything just came up everything is bright but if you just take this thing here when it goes to this notch it's all the way bright but if you bring it down you can see everything starts to get darker and you can see how dark it can get like it's still on you can still see it. it's still kind of hard to see in the daylight but at night you can see that much better especially if you got tinted windshield you're definitely going to need to do this but i usually make mine just a tad bit brighter here so you can kind of see it here and there's that knob here so you can see here i turn my lights off everything's back to bright i can see everything now i go to night mode and auto should do it and bam you see everything just blacks out um, all my lights are dim. Now I can drive at night and see outside my windshield without, you know, running over whatever could be in the road out there. So those are all the convenience and safety features I think are very important if you're owning one of these cars. Now granted, I know a lot of people have had these cars for a long time, but I know we have a lot of people that are getting these cars for the first time and may not know about these uh, features in there. So make sure you check them out and see what settings that you have in your particular car and make those adjustments where necessary so that we keep yourself safe. Uh, you can see better at night, of course, and all that type of stuff. So there's something I didn't cover. If you have any questions about something I didn't talk about, feel free to drop a comment below. I definitely get back to you. As always, thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next video. We're out. Cut it.